Right, welcome to our head and shoulders tutorial. Um, this is quite an important pattern. It's quite a strong reversal pattern most of the time, or nearly all of the time, I think we can uh, quite happily say. Um, this is actually the pattern that uh, caused, well, it didn't cause the uh, crash of the stock market, but it was the pattern that formed at the top of the 2008 uh, crash. So uh, this pattern formed and the market crashed. Um, so you can see why it's such an important pattern. Um, we can get this on uh, all sorts of shares um, and it's basically a top in pattern, meaning that uh, we've had an uptrend, this pattern forms and now we're gonna have a downtrend. Um, so yeah, let's go on because it's quite an important pattern. Okay, so this is actually, at the time of this video being filmed, this is actually what's happening on Barclays. Um, we actually made a couple of videos about this um, before it happened saying we thought that there was a head and shoulders developing on Barclays um, and it looks like that's actually what's happening here. We've had a strong uptrend on Barclays. Um, as you can see it's it stayed above the uh, support line. We started to get what looked like half of a head and shoulders forming and um, so we had to watch very carefully what happened next. Um, it actually got below the support line and it's in the verge of um, completing the head and shoulders pattern. There is a chance on this. Um, the first circle is the, the left shoulder, the, the middle circle is the head, and the right circle is the right shoulder. But there is a possibility that them two last circles could actually form into one. What, what we mean by that is that could actually be the head. What we could get is another bounce with a lower high, and that could be the shoulder making such a, a, a bigger um, head and shoulders. So just to recap, the, the left shoulder we're quite happy with, the, the first right uh, red circle. The two, what what the two other red circles are um, circling could end up being a head, um, or it could just be a, sh a head and a shoulder as we've, we've uh, done it there. But um, what we know is if this is a valid head and shoulders, which looks like it is, we should get around the uh, £2.50 a share, so that's quite a drop and um, it's quite important that you know how to trade these and you recognise these. If you're someone who invests and doesn't trade, it, it pays to know what patterns like this mean because what you can do is just sell and then buy back in a few weeks and get a lot more shares for the same money, so it's quite an important pattern. So another example on Aquarius Platinum, um, we had um, a left shoulder, what looked like a head and a right shoulder. The key is um, the head has a higher high than the left shoulder, but the right shoulder has a lower high than the head. Um, the reason why the head and shoulders is a topping pattern, um, and this is quite a good little tip here because not a lot of people really realise this. They think, oh, a head and shoulders is a reversal pattern and that's it. But there's a reason why it's a reversal pattern. If you look at the start of that rally, you're making higher highs every time and higher lows. Um, the left shoulder, it makes a higher high than the previous and a higher low. The head makes a higher high um, and normally does make a, a higher low as well. In this example it actually, yeah it did, it did make a higher low-ish. Um, and the right shoulder is the first time in that little uptrend that we make a lower high. Then what we need to watch out for is are we going to make a lower low? Um, and in fact we actually do um, so it's a sign that the uptrend a healthy uptrend will always have higher highs higher lows the moment you start getting lower <laughs> this is getting confusing the moment you start getting lower highs and lower maybe even lower lows that's a warning sign that you're not actually maybe in an uptrend anymore it might well be if you're in a quite a, a solid uptrend it may well be just a period of consolidation um, but this isn't a solid uptrend, this is just a, a very uh, precarious small uptrend. Um, the head and shoulders, as you can see, caused the price drop uh, down to 50 pence again. Um, so that was a, a top in head and shoulders. Right, so we sort of touched on it or hinted on it um, just then. Um, a head and shoulders represents an early sign of a trend change. What it does not guarantee is it does not guarantee that you're going to go from an uptrend into a downtrend. What it does guarantee is at the very least what you will get is some sideways consolidation. Um, 
but more often than not, because people uh, recognise the head and shoulders, um, the support of the head and shoulders is quite important. Once that goes, you are then pretty much in a bear market. Um, so it does. It is the first sign quite often. And as I say, um, if you're an investor and uh, you don't wish to trade, if if you just learn this pattern alone. Um, you could probably make quite a lot of money when it happens because you can increase your holding. Investors buy shares and just hold them um, and only sell when, when they've gone up by quite a lot. Traders will be in and out of trades um, trying to trade price movements. But um, if you're an investor and you can actually see one of these uh, head and shoulders and you sell near the top, um, then it, all you need to do is wait a couple of weeks. The price will be lower 9 times out of 10 and uh, you can impre increase your holding and make some money that way. Right, so just going over what we've uh, already touched on, um, it represents a topping pattern most of the time, which is often the point where uptrends reverse and a new downtrend starts, or a new trend, as we said, it may well go into a trendless sideways consolidation for a while, before either going up or going down. Um, the first sign of a head and shoulders is a lower high. There's um, some important things that you need to know about this and um, you need to know how to trade the volume because quite often in a head and shoulders you will actually see um, the volume change in a certain way and we'll go through that on our advanced uh, tutorials because it's a little bit too advanced for this one um, but it's a very very good telltale sign of a head and shoulders or something that looks like a head and shoulders forming but because of the volume you know there's a good chance it isn't a head and shoulders um, it's a strong reversal pattern and it works quite a lot of the time. Um, the 2007-2008 um, crash actually had a head and shoulders and it's quite interesting because at that point a head and shoulders was forming, it was near enough formed on the market and the news was still positive. There was no negative news. It wasn't until we started to form that right shoulder, that last shoulder, that the news started turning negative um, about the loans in America the Lehman Brothers, the banks, the you know the credit crunch was starting, but it already was showing in the charts. If you didn't, if you put your head in the sand and you didn't know anything what was happening in the world, you still could have traded that that stock market crash because of this pattern. And um, so, and that's an argument uh, we're going to another time because they say uh, fundamental news comes out in the charts first, and it certainly did on that occasion. Right, so we've got an example of a head and shoulders here on uh, Royal Sun Alliance Insurance Group. Um, we was actually trying to trade this, but uh, what we will actually do is we'll go through this on our advanced tutorial, um, just so you can see what happens when a, um, a head and shoulders fails and how to trade it. Um, what else we'll go through is projections, because when you get a head and shoulders, it actually does give you a projection lower as a target. Um, and nearly all of the time on head and shoulders you can go back use this projection and the price would have fallen to that level and then it would have started to rise and it's really clever how it works um, but yeah on this example you can see that the head and shoulders actually failed um, maybe the head and shoulders wasn't quite big enough to be a topping pattern but uh, it could have been it could quite easily have been um, we remember on this um, the head and shoulders formed and the FTSE started uh, rallying everything in the FTSE started going on a ball run it dragged RSA up with it um, but anyway uh, we will go through uh, the importance of volume and what happens when a head and shoulders fails when a head and shoulders is starting to fail but might still not fail there's quite a lot on head and shoulders because they're quite common there's a lot to it um, so we'll go all through that on the advanced tutorial but hopefully you've learned something today and uh, hopefully if you see a head and shoulders, you'll sell a head and shoulders. False alarm, um, we cannot conclude a head and shoulders tutorial without showing you this one, XI Energy. Um, right, well XI Energy was a bit of a bubble with uh, the rest of the oil um, sector at this time. Um, as you can see on here, it is a very, very obvious head and shoulders. Um, if you look at the head bit, um, there's nothing that I actually want to point out to you, but around that time, um, I was actually watching a forum uh, where people were posting information about XI Energy, etc., etc. And there was someone on there who said that he'd remortgaged his house to buy XI Energy, Energy shares. Um, there was a lot of talk about it hitting seven pence uh, sorry not seven pence seven pounds per share um when it was around three pound fifty a share 
um, as you can see by this chart it never did it never did make that seven pounds but there was just this huge euphoria and um, that you know this share had gone from like you know it was two pence in I think 2009 two pence a share um, but anyway, I mean, it, it sat around 50 pence for a while and then went up to four, four pound a share. That is a huge return. So, when, you know, if, if you can't read charts as an investor, um, you might think, well, it's gone up that much. It's going to go up even more. And as I say, this, this geezer said that uh, he was remortgaged or he did remortgage his house to buy shares. And, you know, as a chartist, when you, you sort of know what's going to come um, and you don't want to hear it. <laughs> But um, it just goes to show you if you did actually uh, know how to read charts, then you could see that the problems coming. Um, we was uh, we sold on the right shoulder. Um, we got out of there because we could see what was happening, and then the drop came. Everyone acts absolutely like a headless chicken, surprised, you know, um, and stuff like that. But it was all in the charts. Um, simple head and shoulders pattern would have saved people a lot of money and you know what traders would have made an absolute fortune out of this you you get lucky buying at the first stages of of this sort of um you know uptrend if, if you got in around 40 50 pence then you're lucky um but as a trader once you've seen something go up that much everyone knows about this company now um and as a trader you you know something that's gone up that quick it, it's just not going to last so you watch the charts you see the head and shoulders and you go short and uh, traders would have made a hell of a lot of money out of this but uh, yeah this is this is a head and shoulders in its prime this is what you want to be looking out for this is quite an obvious one so don't always expect it to be this obvious because um, sometimes they're a little bit more obscure but this is textbook stuff 